Today we're going to be talking about Kazal eyewear. And anyone who's familiar with hip hop from the 80s through to the present day will be familiar with these kind of glasses. They've been worn by some of the most iconic artists in history, um, particularly in hip hop, particularly in old school hip hop, but it's transcended that really and a lot of musicians, a lot of actors, a lot of people from all kinds of walks of life have embraced Kazal as really the most bold, the most iconic as I mentioned. Um, in many ways the most stylish classes there are. First time that I ever saw Kazelles, it was a guy in the neighborhood who was always known, you know, it was one of my old heads who was always known to be fly. He bust out a Kango, a white Kango hat, a pair of black Gazelles. You know, and everybody was like, wow, you know, what are those? And he was like, you know, these new shits called gazelles. I just remember about six months later that everybody started talking about them. And I was like, wow, man. Now, the story of Kazal eyewear is the story of a man called Kari Zaloni. It was really the start of an explosion in fashion where eyewear and glasses became a big part of that and where the big fashion houses in the world started to get involved in the world of glasses and sunglasses. And Carrie Zaloni was at the very forefront of that. Well, back, first of all, we're talking back in the 80s. Okay. I mean, early 80s now, uh, even, even before that, but it really didn't get uh, started, kick-started until uh, about the 80s, when it really became popular because uh, Kazal, which, by the way, his real name is Carrie Zaloni. The way you get the name Kazal wow. is Carrie, spelled C-A-R-I. He took the C-A, Mm -hmm. Zaloni it was his last oh, name wow. Italian boy went to a lot of schools a house of Dior and everything went to a lot of design schools in Italy and whatnot back then in the 80s uh, there was nothing really out there that was kind of chunky and and really nicely uh, sculptured uh, sculpturing his bridges where it would fit very nicely on the bridge where it was comfortable uh, but the styling alone of his frames his frames are made in Germany okay. they are handmade that's why, and they're gold, and that's why they're expensive. They're pricey. We, we don't design. We don't design. Rather, he doesn't design glasses for the masses. Obviously, not everyone's going to wear a Kazell frame. So back then, it was kind of a, a, a statusy thing, also, to wear Kazells because it's it amazing to think how many moments of creativity come about by somebody wearing a pair of Kazells, whether that's in the music scene or in the film industry. And by buying a pair of Kazells and wearing a pair of Kazells. You're almost a part of that, you almost feel intertwined with that. For those who don't know me that well, music is my big passion. Uh, even more so than glasses, believe it or not. Uh, I write and record music and I listen to it constantly. And old school hip hop from the 80s is a genre that just really has to be appreciated by everyone. It was so um, expressive and it was such a big, big part of the evolution of society almost. Kazal's really made glasses the ultimate accessory. It was not easy to get a pair of Kazals back in the day. Yves Saint Laurent's was a little bit easier because they were in all the major eyeglass stores. If you had Gazelle, they know that you had money. Because at that time, I think Gazelle was going for like 100, 150. And at that time, at 82, 100, 150 was a lot. Sneakers didn't even cost 100, 150. Go with the black, cause it got the gazelle in the bottom. Yeah, I could, I could put this lens in there. That ain't... Baba Bowie. Nah, but the black is official. Either the black or the clear. I talk to clients all the time who tell me about when they were at school, they were bullied because they wore glasses. Cause I'll really flip that on its head. Because the people who wore these didn't give a damn that they were wearing glasses. Many of them wore them even without prescription lenses. They, you can still see a lot of them with the original logo written on. That desire to embrace eyewear, I think is so important as well. It's great that we've taken glasses from something that was seen as a necessity to something that's an actual fashion accessory, a legitimate fashion accessory that is really part of your own personal style. Glasses for me and shades for me, they all have different meanings. Different points in my life, different parts of success, different money, it means a lot of different things. Like these 616, if I'm not mistaken, Kazals, these are the first glasses I ever wore in my All Go Everything video. These were like the first. Yeah, these glasses probably only go for probably about $400, $500, but there's no value on my first, it's like my first chain. These are my first shades that ever like got me into the game of glasses. 
So these are part of the Legends series, um, the re-releases of original models from the 1980s. Now, if you see this frame right here, it's the model 607. Mm -hmm. It's probably the most knocked off style. On this is the, the Run DMC. Uh, yeah, I know. well, yeah, yeah, you can say that. It sure right. is. And it, uh, you know, and Run DMC, if you remember them, started it all also back then. How many people are going to come up to you and say, oh, are those real oh, gazelles? Real is that a real Rolex? Uh, you know, whatever. Uh, so, the, you know, the look of gazelle is out there, and that's what we like also. We don't mind people knocking us off. That's a compliment as far as I'm concerned. I mean, come on, hello. Like I, I said, they don't... They only knock off winners, and we're a company of winners. And, I mean, they're just stunning, aren't they? The, like, you can't imagine glasses that were more impactful than this, or could be more impactful than this. I really like the matte finish. I really like the faceted top as well, if you can just make that out. Really nice attention to detail. These are still made in Germany, by the way. It says made in Germany right on the inside of the arm there, as you can see. And uh, in this video I'm wearing these with clear lenses, but they are also really cool and wearable as sunglasses, as I will show you now. So this is um, the same front as the one that I just had on. It's got a slightly different side with the silver and a little bit of a different design to it, with clearly tinted lenses. Um, as sunglasses are a little bit easier to pull off, but I think for those who want the ultimate Kazal look, it's got to be with the clear lenses. Um, we've just got these models in stock. This one, the one that I was originally modeling, and also this one, which is a slightly aviator kind of style with the extra gold bar across the top. If you just want that extra little bit of bling as if they needed it. Um, all three models, I absolutely love. Um, they're all made in very limited quantities, like I said, made in Germany. Well, well the, the, uh, there's some, first of all, being handmade, it's gonna add a little price to it as it is, as far as I'm concerned. This is not cookie cutter. This isn't like other lines in the industry where they make thousands and thousands of styles of them. Th it takes time. It's made in Germany in a small factory, well, not so much a small factory, in a large factory, as a matter of fact, in Passau, by the way, P-A-S-S-A-U, Germany, uh, which is a uh, waterfront town, to be honest with you, and that's how they mm. ship our product to us, which wow. uh, to our corporate office down in uh, Miami, Florida, by the way. So okay. really, really robust glasses, by the way, uh, mainly due to the thickness of the material, quality of the materials used. They're built like a tank. You know, many of the original models from the 80s are still around today, believe it or not. Um, there's a big market for them on eBay, you can buy original ones. And that just shows the build quality that goes into them. They're still made today exactly as they were made back then. Same materials, um, same attention to detail, still made in Germany. Uh, and I don't really think you can get a more robust feeling pair of glasses than these, they just feel so solid. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed presenting Kazal to you. Um, it's one of those brands that as an optician you're just kind of in awe of because of how special they are, how iconic they are. If you've got any questions about them, please leave them in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys, bye bye.